for the record, tell us your name and designation. Dr. Fiona Philip Meyer, F I O N A P H I L I P M A Y E R. All right, we're talking about the OECS Pearl. First of all, tell us about the OECS Pearl and um, the work that has been done um, to facilitate that, that important uh, project. Well, we're very pleased that the OECS continues to support us in such a significant way. We have the OECS poll happening right now, and it speaks to several components, and those include early childhood education as well as primary education. And in particular, we speak to the curriculum review as a significant part of the work that the poll is doing. It speaks to also systemic, systemic leadership and um, ensuring that our schools have the administrators were well placed to lead us into the innovative ways that education is going at the moment. Now talk to us about the curriculum development as far as that is concerned. Well, our curriculum is dated. We appreciate that. And with everything, curriculum review is a necessary step of any instructional plan and instructional program. Even more so on a national scale, as will be done in St. Lucia, and so there is consultation happening with various stakeholders to ensure that the curriculum is significant in terms of instruction, assessment as well, and the teaching and learning practices that will enhance our students' education. Yeah, um, we understand that the primary school curriculum, secondary school, what, what um, aspects of the, the various grades will be reviewed? Well, we've had, of a few weeks ago, we had our special education aspect coming through the primary school curriculum, and that was done with our project called EQUIP, and we're very pleased for that. What we're doing now is a review of the entire curriculum. So all the various aspects are going to be looked at, because we can also appreciate that with um, ICT integration now, it is significant to look at how much content is in the curriculum? You know, are the benchmarks in terms of the, the content areas for the various grade levels appropriate? Is there a need to review various subject areas, such as mathematics and English and social studies and sciences? Because we have to look at how the teaching and learning has been impacted. Is the curriculum too heavy in terms of the various concepts that we're looking at. So it is important that we engage stakeholders, and for me, very significantly, teachers, because they're the ones who are implementing the teaching and learning across the board, but also administrators, curriculum officers, education officers, our entire teams, to be reflective upon the practice, because we know that curriculum drives instruction. And if we do not get it right in terms of what the curriculum entails, we will not get it right in terms of instruction. Why should people participate? It is very, very important to participate because we're all part of the process. It's important to get the opportunity to reflect upon what we have. And participation ensures that you get a voice because if you do not participate, you wouldn't be able to contribute. And so it is my plea to encourage everyone to come on board, to look at what we have because the objective is to get something that is much better for our students, that is more appropriate, that is more aligned, that the concepts, you know, the teaching practices, the learning that happens will be more effective. And so voices of implementers, I call them, voices of teachers on the ground, voices of principals is a very, very important because that will ensure that when we're finished, we do have a product that speaks to an improvement in our education system.